All right, about that time. Welcome, everybody, Full Body Blast and Coach Matt. Um, we are a week and a day away from Christmas, and nobody's claimed the workout yet. So we're gonna do our our lovely 12 days of fitness workout today. So we're gonna take a really quick, really quick warm up, and then we'll uh, kind of warm up on the fly as we go through class. So uh, if you're only gonna do one stretch, we'll make it the world's greatest stretch. So let's go ahead and get to that. We're going to push those hips back, really stretch out those hamstrings, make our way to the ground, walk our way out into a nice, good, strong plank position, make sure that we're engaging with the ground, engaging those abs. We'll bring one foot forward into a nice runner's lunge. That elbow is going to go to the instep. Hold that for about a breath. Then we'll open that up to the sky. Hand comes to the outside of that foot. Toes to nose. I'm going to push that back, regain that plank position. Bring that other foot up. Yeah, we'll take that elbow to the instep. And rotate it up. Take that hand to the outside, a little hamstring calf stretch. Push that back down, reestablish that plank position again, nice and strong, pull those abs in nice and tight. Push back to that downward dog, and we'll walk those hands back up. All right, so if you've never done the 12 days fitness workout before, um, I'm sure you've heard the song, um, 12 days of Christmas. Uh, every Every round, we're just going to add a new exercise and go back up the list. All right, I'm not going to over-explain it. You'll get it kind of as we go through it. Um, so every round, I'll kind of introduce a new exercise. So we'll just kind of follow along all together. Um, it's a long workout, so I'm not sure that we'll get through all of it, but we're going to do the best we can. We're going to get 20, 25 minutes of good, strong, hard work today. All right. So because uh, I'm your favorite coach and I make you do the best exercises. We're going to start our uh, first movement is our burpee in a pear tree. All right, we're going to have to do one of them. So let's go ahead and drop down to the ground. We'll get a nice, easy burpee to start off with. Boom, one round done. All right, second movement instead of turtle doves, we're going to do some primal front steps. So let's drop down into all fours. Those knees are up off the ground. We're going to push back, load our beast. We're going to step forward and bring that hand or bring that foot to replace that hand. All right, so that's one of them. We're going to re, uh, get back into that primal position, reload, and front step the other side. And there's our two front steps. All right, we'll set it up and we'll go back to our one burpee in a pear tree. All right, boom, two rounds down. All right, next movement, third one. And we're going to do a set of French horns. We're going to do a French press, uh, French press up. So go ahead and drop into your plank position. All right. And we drop onto your elbows. What we're going to do is we're going to press our hand down to the ground and extend through those elbows like tricep push up. All right. We're going to come back down. There's two reps. And this is our third round. So we've got three of these. If we need to, we can drop to those knees and do the same thing, or if you want to modify into traditional push-ups, that's an option as well. All right, there's our three. We're going to revisit our two front steps. All right, boom, a little mobility to start that one out. All right, and then we'll hop up for our burpee. If you handle only one burpee at a time, you'll end up doing a grand total of 12, which is not that much. All right. Kind of get the ball rolling now. So we're going to move to movement number four. So instead of calling birds, we're going to do crawling bears. All right, so we're going to get down to the edge of our mat. If you don't have a mat, about five feet or so of, of length. So we're going to get that same primal position, opposite hand, opposite foot. Are right, going to slowly walk yourself forward until you get to the end of your mat. We'll call that one. And we're going to Crawl that backwards, reverse it back to that starting position. There's two. We're gonna go one more time. We got four this round. Number four calling birds. We 
got four crawling bears all the way back. And once you get those four, we've got those three French press. All right, dropping down to those elbows. Again, you can do this on your knees a little bit easier. And again, we can modify this to our um, traditional push-ups as needed. Three French press. We've got two front steps. Boom, big steps. Remember, re uh, come back to that primal position at the end. And then we'll all no knock out our one burpee together. All right, starting to get nice and warmed up. Feeling, this, feeling the Christmas spirit? All right. Um, fifth movement. All right, everybody's favorite. Five gold rings. Don't have any of those for you. Uh, we're going to do five jump squats. All right. So again, those feet in, shoulder width apart. Squat down. Powering up. All right, five of them. Two. Three. Four. Last one. And five. All right, nice soft landing on those. When we get to the end of our mat, we've got our four crawling bears. Don't want you to rush these. I want you to focus on being nice and stable as we walk through. All right, think about that low back. You got a couple water bouncing on it. Don't want to spill it. Staying nice and square to the ground. Right down the back. We'll count these two reps, and we've got four to go. Start feeling in those shoulders and those quads a little bit. Four crawling bears, three French press. Good, starting to stay strong, pushing through the palm of that hand. Great tricep extension exercise right there. Give you a second to finish those. Get to our two front steps, one each side. As we go through these, start feeling the mobility on those more and more. Finish up our fifth round with our one burpee and a pair of tree. All right, feeling good? Feeling good. All right, we're moving right along. We're on number six. We've got six glutes of bridging. So we're going to drop it down on our back, putting those heels into the ground. Nothing too complicated here. Just pushing those hips to the sky, squeezing those glutes nice and tight. We're going to get a good one second pause at the top, one Mississippi, and drop it back down. All right, we've got six of these total. I want you to really focus on squeezing those glutes as our primary primary focus on those six glute bridges. All right, back to five, five jump squats at your own pace. Again, focus, nice soft landing, absorbing through the hamstring, bending those knees, bending those ankles, good mobility through those. Five down to four crawling bears. If you get lost, right, you can just jump in or move at your own pace. I know it's a lot of movements to remember, but you'll be doing them quite a few times. So you may be able to pick up on those without problem. There's two. And we're going to go to four. Nice and smooth crawling through. As we're hitting that halfway point of our exercises, we've got six down, six more rounds to go. All right, four crawling birds, three for inch press. Three. And we'll get that into our two front steps. All right, I want to see you get nice and long, very extended on those front steps. We'll knock out our one burpee. Boom. Six rounds to go. I always like to give myself a little clap at the top, tell myself I'm doing a great job. 
All right, we're gonna drop down to the ground for number seven. Instead of swans of swimming, well, I don't know, maybe this is how swan swims. But we're gonna do some uh, lap pull downs. All right, some some supermans of swimming. I don't know. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get um, those arms extended up overhead on the ground. We're gonna lift that chest and those arms come up. Those feet stay down. And we're gonna pull those elbows back behind us. All right, there's extend and back down. There's one, we're going to seven. Big squeeze, hold again for a good second at the, at the bottom of that rep. And make sure that breathing is in control here as we are looking down into the ground. Once you're really focused on getting um, that nice big squeeze at the bottom, all right, we always like to uh, tell people to imagine you're pulling down 100 pounds, pulling strong and squeezing that, creating that tension in your own upper back. Big squeeze. We got one more time here. And back down. Oh, all right, we're flipping it over. Six as our glute bridges up, squeeze, and back down. If you want a little extra challenge, right? We can extend those legs a little farther out, put a little bit more focus on those hamstrings while we're going through those glutes. So still want you to focus on squeezing those glutes. If you need to hold that top position for an extra second, please do that. All right, through everything else that we've grown on, you should certainly feel that through those glutes. I believe that's six. We're gonna hop up for our five jump squats. I know you're waiting for that, all right? Well, there's two. Why don't you focus on putting power into these squats? All right, if the jumping is not for you, certainly we can take that out and just do good controlled body weight squats. All right, no issues on that. Once you get your five, now, time to crawl some bears. As we get deeper into this workout, we're maintaining that posture on these crawls more and more importantly each time. All right, making sure that we are avoiding shifting those hips. All right, no alligator crawls here. We're very, very strong, controlled Christmas bears. All right, and back up. So that is our four. We're gonna get to our three French press. Extending through. All right, two front steps. Hopefully you're still with me. Again, if you get a little um, off track, all right, feel free to jump in wherever you can. I know it's a little hard, those don't all fall along. One burpee. There we go. All right. We're doing well. We're doing well. Look good on time as well. We're going to go to number eight instead of our maids of milk, and we have our hips a hinging. All right, so we're standing nice and tall. We're going to take our thumbs out. We're going to rotate those thumbs and pull those back so we get some nice good tension and that upper back, and we're going to push those hips in that same direction, backwards. All right, so when we finish that hinge, those thumbs should be pointing towards the ceiling, okay? So we're going from uh, kind of pointing backwards, hinging 90 degrees, to pointing upwards, and back up. There's three of them, we're going to eight. Just like those glute bridges, focus on squeezing those glutes to the top. Big extension and contraction. Stretch those hamstrings and contract. We got two more. All right, uh, back should be nice and tight, right? Ready for our swans of swimming, seven of them. Once you got your own pace here, remember to lift up, pull and squeeze. 
we need to slow it down a little bit, definitely slow it down. If you want to take a rep or two off just to maintain the pace you know, we're all moving together with, you're welcome to do that as well. All right, make this work out your own. I'm sure you'll get a lot out of it regardless. Last one. All right, we'll flip it over our six glutes are bridging. Hopefully at this point, you're kind of getting um, those movements committed to memory. If you don't, don't worry about it. You now I always like to do mental workout with you as well. Big squeeze, back down, three more. Don't focus so much on getting those hips to the ceiling. Just focus on getting those glutes nice and tight together. Last one. All right. Roll that up. You have five jump squats. So notice here I'm trying to kind of go one rep at a time. All right, so I'm going to focus on getting as much power per single rep as possible. So instead of in your continuous reps, think about big jumps each and every time. All right, five of those four bear crawls. Trying to stay good continuous movement here today. Trying to limit that rest time, especially between exercises. We want to try to sync these up best back to back as we can manage. One more time, down and back. Make sure we're not taking too big steps here. Really just kind of going fingertips to palm. All right, good six to eight inches per step. All right, three French press. Triceps feeling good. This gets definitely harder the deeper we go into this. You can modify down as necessary. All right, two front steps, primal position. Load and explode. Good hip opener there. Back to that primal. And then we'll hop up for our burpees to cap off this round. Always like to see that burpee in the pear tree. All right, we are on to nine. We we're making some great progress. We've got nine ladies dancing, all right? nine people dancing whatever you would like to go with so that same space that we use for bear crawl um five feet or so we're doing basically just the lateral salsa steps um so if you're moving right starting with your right foot going right left right left all right we're going down one going back with that left two all right back and forth for a total of nine just a little cardio sneaking in there, trying to get lots of steps. There's six. Ooh. Trying to get those feet to move a little faster as we finish our final one. And nine. All right, hips are hinging. Thumbs forward, we'll rotate, pull them back nice and tight in that upper back. All right, abs are still nice and tight. Hinging out, pushing those hips forward. Eight is our count on this one. And yeah, once you focus on those hips, that's the primary mission on these hinges. Got the last one. Think about it just like a deadlift. It's the same idea, hinging back. All right, instead of being here, we would be here. Same hinge, same hinge. Seven, swimmers. Up, pull and squeeze. Once you, uh, this round, think about those shoulders. 
making sure they're not creeping up on our ears. So when we pull, think about doing like your, uh, the neck of a turtle. Want to really extend that out of your shell as we pull those arms back and down. Two more. And some good back extension work here. All right, flipping it over. Glute bridges. Up and squeeze. This time around these glute bridges, I want you to focus on pushing those knees forward as far as you can. That'll be your, your cue, trying to touch the wall with those knees. See if we can get a little extra glute work with that one. Last two. And just six on these glute bridges. One good second pause at the top. Popping up for our five jump squats. Big power on those squats. Try to land a little bit softer than that one. Two more. Body control, body control. All right, five, four crawls. We're gonna try to pick up the pace here as time is winding down. See if we can get those last couple rounds in. If you wanna stay moving at a different pace, certainly again, that's up to you. Always your workout, make the most of it for whatever feels right to you. All right, stepping into our French press, tricep extensions, or push-ups, wherever you are on that one. Two front steps. Big step forward. Match that primal again. And our one burpee, starting from that standing position. All the way down all the way up. All right, let's see if we can squeeze in one more here. Number 10, still Thursday, our Lords of Leaping. I'm gonna be leaping laterally. All right, jump from one foot to the other. Ooh, balance is falling apart. Staying into that foot, finding that balance. We've got 10 total, five each direction. And the last one, boom. Once you get those, or back to those quick feet, salsa steps nine times down and back. Certainly get those arms going if you want, or if you want to keep those hands up, we can do that as well. I find it's a little bit easier to keep that momentum moving if I get those arms involved. Also helps find some coordination if you don't have as much as you may like. All right, we got back and then one more time, down and back. We're gonna finish up this round, that's gonna be it. Boom, all right, our eight hips are hinging. All right, we're gonna again, take that momentum and keep rolling as we finish this final round. Driving those hips forward, big glute squeeze. Last one. Eight. Another shot down. No swimmers. Seven is our count. Big down and squeeze. All right, remember, form comes first. All right, if you're falling apart. Just trying to get those reps in, move it at a tempo that you can manage. Manage that form. Make sure it looks good so that it's effective. We got one more here. And we're going to flip that all over to our glue bridges, our six glue bridges. 
Good, here we go. Big hold to the top, big squeeze each and every time. Last two. Last one. Good, there's our six. We've got our five jump squats. Big power up. Nice soft landing still. Bend those knees. Absorbing that impact. Four crawls. Home stretch, folks. Let's make them strong. Make them count. On down and back. Twice or a total of four lengths. Keep it together. Almost there. Press it into the ground with those arms. Make those shoulder blades. And make sure they're now winging up. There's our four. Set four for our three. French press. Our two front steps. Big step. Should feel really good now. And we'll hop it up for our last burpee in a pear tree. And there it goes. Give yourself a round of applause. That is your 10 days of fitness. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Again, I'm Coach Matt. We'll be back for abs in just a minute. Get yourself some water, take a break. You deserve it.